Clinton, and welcome to another Adobe After Effects tutorial. Sorry I haven't made one in a while, but here's the effect I'm going to show you how to make. Now you may be wondering why I'm going to show you how to make a clone again, because I already made a clone in a tutorial, but I'm not really going to show you how to clone. I'm going to show you how to make this wiggle when some sort of impact or action happens. So you could use this effect for maybe like a punch like this or maybe um, like if an airplane is crashing on the ground then once it crashes then it can, the camera can start wiggling. And um, it basically like simulates like maybe a vibration from something, some sort of an impact. So I'm going to show you how to make this effect. So first, I'm going to import my clone video into the new composition. And um, you can see that there's no wiggle, it's just a punch. And I put in a sound effect, but we are pretty much um, going to make it wiggle from, it's going to start wiggling here and it's going to stop wiggling right there. So we're going to click on the, let's just name this clone, this layer clone, and then click on it and hit P for position. Go to the spot where you, in the timeline where you want the wiggle to start, which is like right here, and then add a keyframe to the position, and then go to the spot where you want it to stop wiggling, and then add another keyframe. And you can add keyframes by clicking on this little diamond shape on the far left of the um, timeline. So now we've just added two keyframes, which um, we can add wiggling in the middle. So na next, we're just going to go to um, Window, and then scroll down and find the wiggler. Click on it. So the wiggler is going to pop up right on the side. We're this is the tool we're going to use to make the camera wiggle in the right spot. So we're just going to highlight these two keyframes that we've made. And the wiggler can only work with two keyframes. Don't, don't try it with three. It'll only work with two. So apply to spatial path. Make the noise type jagged all independently. And make the frequency like 15 not 5 and the magnitude should be 25 and then hit apply so now you can see that it um it added some keyframes but there's like a more space in between the first one and this one than the last one and that one so we can just move that out so now they're equal and if we play this back you can see that it, there's a wiggle So, uh, you can keep it like this, but you can see the some black around the edges. That's because our shot is, the positioning is move, the position is moving around. So we, we could fix that by either lowering the comp size, raising the scale, and, or you could just apply some effect to it. But I'm going to raise it just a little bit. Try to keep the shot small because if you, you can see that if you scale it up way too much, it'll like be all pixelated. And when it's smaller, it's like, just like looks more clear. So just keep it as small as you can. This is basically, oh, yeah, so if you see black, just raise the scale a little bit more. So this is the, um, basic effect of wiggling with camera motion and I hope you enjoyed this tutorial please comment rate and subscribe and I'll see you next time